Hey folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here. And there seems to be a little bit of confusion about transitioning from a downed rifle to a handgun, as in when you would want to do it or why you would want to do it. All right, step number one. If I pull this thing up and it goes bang, bang, nothing, right? We all have a feel or a sense for our rifles. You're not gonna fire two or three shots and then have silence and think, oh, I must have run out of ammunition. You knew that you stuffed 30 in there. I understand that people get excited in combat, but you're not gonna fire two shots, the gun stops and you think, oh, I fired all 30. It's not gonna happen, all right. So, and even if it did, let's say I shoot this, boom, 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 no noise, stops making noise, trigger won't press. I don't know what's wrong with this gun. Now, what is most important in actual combat? Not on the range where we're playing with cardboard and paper and steel. In real fighting, what is the most important thing to maintain? Or one of the? Momentum. If I'm putting hot rocks down onto bad people, I have the momentum. If this thing stops making noise, I'm losing the momentum and I'm losing it fast. How can we maintain the momentum in a actual fight, right? So I pull it up, makes no noise, I just pull it down. Hands go to my body. When they come out, they come out with a live pistol. I will maintain the fighting momentum with my handgun. Then when I'm done, I'll fix this one, I'll put more ammo in it, I'm good to go, I don't need to fight anymore. Now that I don't need to fight anymore, I'll put this one away. Put it away, I'm good to go. Now I can figure out what went wrong with this. Are there caveats? Yes. If there's cover and my enemy is 157 yards away, I'll take cover, attempt to fix the rifle, and I won't use my pistol. If I have a team with me, right? If I have a team, I'm shooting, bang, bang, nothing. I will yell cover, let my teammates know, let them keep shooting, try to fix the rifle. However, if the fight is right there in my face, 25 yards, 20 yards, 15 yards, I have the momentum. I'm using this as a power tool. Boom, boom, click. I need to keep the freaking momentum going. I don't care how fast your reloads are. Ladies and gentlemen, when this thing stops making noise unexpectedly, what is a stoppage? It is an unintentional interruption in the cycle of operation. What made that happen? Is it a double feed? Is it an empty mag? Is it a broken mag? Did a primer pop out of a case and fall into the mechanism and now it won't work? I don't know, but what I do know is I have a functioning pistol right here on my side. So what is more important? Is it more important to continue the momentum in the fight? Or is it more important to pull this back, look at it like a hog looking at a wristwatch, and then start monkeying with it? You say, but what if tap rack will fix it? Okay, maybe it does. What do you do if I pull it back, boom, 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 click, I tap rack, and it still doesn't work. Now I gotta do other stuff. I'm losing the momentum in the gunfight. Losing the momentum in a gunfight could make you a dead person, all right? If you don't have another gun, that's, that's it. But let's not deceive ourselves. If you're carrying a second gun and you're carrying it for a reason, you need to practice with it. And if you expect to be able to do this in the real world, boom, boom, click, go to the handgun, you've got to do it, you've got to train with it, and you've got to train like you're serious. All right, that's it, kids. I'm Paul Markle from Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, student for life.